Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget uh, to subscribe if you're new. Welcome and feel free to subscribe. Feel free to also suggest things that you want to see on this channel. Just drop the link down below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. For those returning, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and just Thank you for always watching our videos. Thank you for 19,000 subscribers. I hope you guys are doing all right. I may stay blessed. So today, I'm going to be reacting to why I'm a Muslim, Yusha Evans. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu, Quran Weekly. I am Yusha Evans. Um, I'm, inshallah, I just want to share with you briefly, you know, what really attracted me to Islam uh, because we don't have the context of the time to be able to go through my entire story of a period of years uh, that it took me to finally come to Islam, you know. But the first things I knew about Islam were very negative, first and foremost. Uh, back in 90, you know, 6, when I really first hit a, heard about Islam, 95, you know, the only things were, that was very negative. And it was not a lot of information about Islam. No one was talking about Islam. Islam wasn't on the news every single day. It wasn't in the newspaper. It wasn't in magazines. You know, no one really talked about Islam. Uh, and the only thing I knew about Islam is what I had heard from pastors, you know, they, they worshipped the moon god or read in a book, they lived in a box in the desert in Saudi Arabia, etc. That Muslims were going to be the Antichrist and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, it wasn't really until I was invited by a Muslim who I had known, who was not the best Muslim, actually, he, he was a cannabis salesman, if you want to give that any <laughs> type of entitlement, but he actually invited me to go to Juma. Uh, it was going to Juma and really kind of listening, you know, to the Imam speak about, uh, especially, you know, the, the rhetoric we hear at the beginning of a khutbah, that verily all praise belongs to Allah. We praise Him, we praise Him alone, we ask for His help, His help alone, we seek His aid and His aid alone. We uh, uh, take refuge in Allah from the evil that lies within our own souls and our sinful nature. Whomever God guides cannot be got misguided, etc. That caught my attention and attraction initially, but it wasn't the words that anyone were going to tell me. Really, really, they were going to convince me about Islam. It was not until the Imam gave me a Quran, uh, that, and I went home and I opened the Quran and started reading it, that the real attraction took place. And that is something that has always, always stuck with me, was the beauty of the book that, that so many of us as Muslims take for granted. Uh, you know, just the very opening of the book where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after Fatiha says, you know, this is the book that has no doubt in it. And it is a guidance for those who fear uh, their creator. I mean, that's, uh, you know, one of the boldest challenges that I have ever seen in any religious text at any place, much less at the very beginning. The beginning of the book is proclaiming its, its, its uh, uh, virtue. It's claiming that in the beginning, after this point, you will not find any doubt. You won't find any contradictions, any discrepancies, you won't find any mistakes, nothing. This book is perfect and it will guide you if you fear God. I mean, that was really to me a tantamount testament to the, the veracity of the book. And it, after that point, I really wanted to disprove the book. I really wanted to disprove that verse because it was, it, 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 it could not, I couldn't wrap my head around the idea that Muslims, who I thought were the worst people on earth, could have the right religion. That was just something my brain was not ready to, you know, to comprehend. Uh, but, you know, the more I read the book in an attempt to discredit it, the more it proved its veracity, the more it proved what it was. And this will always be the greatest miracle. The greatest miracle of Islam is the Quran. And we know that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, is, is, this is in a collection of Imam Muslim, narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu an. He said that the Prophet ﷺ said every prophet was sent with miracles to, you know, to prove their, their, their prophethood or their messengership. And he said the miracle that I was sent with was the Qur'an. Uh, the Qur'an is my miracle. And that is a living testament to the fact of who the Prophet ﷺ was. The fact that we can pick up his miracle, 
right now. We can look through it. We can read it. We can understand it. And this is not only his miracle alone. This is the miracle given to him by Allah. This is the speech of the Creator. This is the speech of the Creator. It is referred to as Kalamullah. This is the words of our Creator. So the Qur'an really was the thing that attracted me to Islam because it is tangible. It is something that is unique that no other religion can produce. No other religion, and this is a challenge I have made to every single world religion. Bring your tangible proof and let's put it to the test. Is it what it claims to be? And when that is done, we will find that the only thing that can stand on its own merit is the book from the Creator of the Qur'an. It stands on its own merit. Its challenges are repute through 1400 plus years that, that the Creator challenges you in the book to find a contradiction. It's almost a, a bold commandment. I dare you, please, do your research. Try to find a contradiction. Try to bring something like it. And when you can't, then you know you need to admit and humbly submit yourself to the fact that this is what it is. And it is from the Creator of all that exists. So, you know, this is one advice that I have always had for, for people who were interested in Islam. That just take the Qur'an and take some time to look through it. I know it can be a bit intimidating, you know, this, this entire book. You know, but at least, you know, just take some diligence, even if it takes you years to read through the Qur'an, take the diligence to read the book and the, uh, from, from the Creator uh, because there is something very special about it. Realistically, there is something so special about it and I've known that since the first time I heard it recited. Even though I didn't know what the Qur'an meant at that time, I, I had no understanding of the Arabic language, but when you hear the Qur'an recited, you can tell there's something, there's something different about this. And it was very intriguing to me to, wow, this is how they read their book. You know, I wonder, do they read the whole book like this? And it's just, just very, very beautiful. It's a very beautiful thing. Uh, and even in the English language, which is not the Qur'an itself, it's a translation of the meanings of the Qur'an. It is so powerful even in a translated form. And that's the, the amazing thing about it. It's so powerful even in a translated form. When you read it in its original language, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, Inexplicit, it's inexplicable to give you the, the, the beauty of it in its original format. So it was the, initially this book, the Qur'an, that led me to be intrigued about Islam. And, you know, that was over 13 years ago. Uh, it'll be 14 years this year. And there is not a day that has passed that the Qur'an hasn't amazed me. And I don't think there will be a day that will pass until the day I die that the Qur'an would not continue to amaze me. Because this is the book from the Creator, it is the miracle from the Creator. And it is a true testament to the fact that the Prophet Muhammad is who he was. I don't need to prove anything else about him other than to give you the Qur'an and to say this is the testament of who the man was. So it is, it is such a beautiful thing uh, to be able to be part uh, of this great religion, this great way of life with such a great guidance from the Creator in the Book of Allah uh, and in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So my attraction to Islam was the Qur'an and it still is the Qur'an inshallah it will always be because this is the, bound, the foundation of everything that we have is the book, the communication for the Creator. It has been a pleasure to be with you. My name is Yusha Evans again for Qur'an Weekly saying Jazakallah Khairan wa Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Quran Weekly. So do yourself a favor, if you benefited from this video, go ahead and like it and share it on your Facebook and Twitter. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as is narrated in Sahih Muslim, man sanna fil islami sunnatan hasana, falahu ajru wa ajru man amana biha, that whoever does something good, inshaAllah ta'ala, and starts it, or shares it and other people follow, then he will get the reward that he has, and of course the reward of anyone who followed him in that, inshaAllah. So if someone else benefits from this, you get the same reward as the presenter, inshaAllah, and the same reward as the producer. So go ahead and like it, love it, share it. Jazakum Allah khayran, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
very interesting video i mean there's a lot of things in life that are going to influence someone to make a certain decision in life a life-changing decision in life i mean if you are aware of something and you find it amazing or amusing drop your pride go out there learn about it there's something you want to know concerning whatever situation you're in go out there don't feel shy don't feel like people are going to judge you just go out there get the knowledge that you have to get and believe what you have to believe um i mean it takes of course sometimes it takes time but the fact that someone is not forcing you to believe what they're saying because this um you should pretty much just says you know what even if it takes you years get the quran and go through it and see what you find there if that what you if you find this and don't amuse you you know you can just put it aside nothing wrong with that but if they amuse you and you feel like you want to avert then then do that as well that's pretty fine that's people just have to know that there is no <clears throat> there's no shame in learning something new there's no shame in looking into something just focus on yourself sometimes put yourself first and go out there get the knowledge that you need to get um yeah don't miss out on knowledge because of the people around you let me know what you guys think otherwise this was a great video loved it enjoyed it love such stories so yeah if there's anything you guys want me to react to drop the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video